Hello, once again. We reached the end of July, but we still have an important message for you. I pray that this message will help you. Before we start, let us ask David Lee to lead us in a song. Okay? Hello, this is our song. Our God is living on his throne, protecting us when things go wrong. His mighty power will e'er defend.
earthly dust. He gave his life, son on Calvary. God is alive. He lives for you and me. Amen. This is our lesson, the light and the world's influence. To begin our lesson, let's look at what the Lord, our, our Lord Jesus Christ said. I am the light, or I am light. And I came into this world. I came so that every person that believes in me would not stay in darkness. Light means the blessing of God. Darkness means the sin of the world. In his speech, Jesus compares himself to a light that shines into a dark world. People who decide to follow Jesus also follow Jesus into the light. These people will not stay in darkness, meaning sin. light and I came into the world I came so that every person that believes in me would not stay in darkness meaning sin what did Jesus mean Jesus said that people who believe in him and follow him would not say stay in sin for example if you steal and then you believe in Jesus and accept him you're baptized into him 
And then afterward, you keep stealing. God says no. God wants us to repent. That means to turn away from our sins. Leave them alone. For, and go for a better life. Why? Because darkness means sin. Some people prefer the darkness. That's why many crimes happen at night. Yes. Some crimes happen during broad daylight. And the lights are shining. Yes, a few. But most are done at night. Under darkness. They break into a house and steal. Or even murder people. People are judged by this fact. The light, meaning goodness, has come into the world. Jesus came into the world. But people did not want the light. They felt it was too bright. They wanted darkness, meaning sin. Why? Because they were doing evil things. Maybe you experienced being out in the country and you see a hill, maybe a, a, some wood or something, and you move it. And you find ants are scrambling around, they're afraid. Like that. Jesus shines the light on them and people are afraid. They don't want people to see their sins. Every person that does evil hates light. That person will not come to the light. They refuse. Why? Because then the light will show all the bad things he has done. In politics, like Democrats and Republicans, the light is shown to what they really do. Wow. People need to know what is honest and right. But the person that follows the true way become, or comes to the light. Yes, I like that. Then the light will show that the things that person has done were done through God. Sometimes I like to try and help people without them knowing it. Leave money or something and leave and they don't know who did it. Maybe someday when the Lord comes again that, that he will show them that's me. It's praise to God, not to me. Because God controls my thoughts. Of course, Jesus Christ is the light himself. And evil is pictured as darkness. Since people who love sin refuse to come to the light, they will hate Jesus and all those people who follow Jesus. I read about Red China persecuting Christians. No matter if they're a Christian doing good, they didn't like that. They prefer their government, 
their kind of government that puts down people, yeah. oppresses people. It's sad, but it's true. This, this is a warning, brothers and sisters. Right. Don't be surprised right. when the people of this world hate you. Why do they hate me? I'm innocent. Because you are a Christian. I remember one time I walked from my church office to a close by a restaurant. I was surprised to find that a woman who had paid attention to me knew signs. She had a deaf friend. It was fine, so I could sign what I wanted. And she gave it to me. I went a few times, but one day a friend of mine came in and said, said, do you want to go eat with me at this restaurant? And he said, yes. And we walked over there and I told the woman, hello, this is my friend. We, we worked together in the church. And I noticed her face, uh, her facial expressions. What? I didn't know that she hated the light, so to speak. After that, I never saw her again. The Christian life is not easy. Why? Because there are people who hate the light. They don't like the truth in the Bible. These people in darkness, meaning sin, will hate people who follow Jesus. So if the people do ugly things to you, it's because you are a Christian. Don't worry. God is with you. What does Jesus say a person living in light should do about those people in darkness who hate them? What do, what do we do? If the world hates you, remember that the world hated me first. Who is me? Jesus. Jesus said that. Jesus said that the world hated him first. They looked at him and then they see the people who follow him and they hate them too. Just because you follow Jesus. So be comfortable. God is with you and God loves you. If you belong to the world, then the world would love you like it loves its own people in sin. It spoils them and praises them. But I have chosen you out of the world, so you don't belong to the world. That is why the world hates you. Wow. When people don't follow the light, they are separated from God because they prefer the darkness and sin. It separates them. In the Old Testament, it's in Isaiah, it says, but your sins separate you from your God. The Lord sees your sins, and he turns away from you. It's true. People say, but God loves everyone. Yes, it's true. God loves you if you're in the darkness, meaning sin. God still loves you, but wants you to repent and come to the light. Jesus died for you so you could become friends with God again. 
in the New Testament it says Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross he did this so that we would stop living for sin and live for what is right in other words come to the light and live in the light we need to believe and trust in Christ yes God loved the world so much that he gave his only son God gave his son so that every person that believes him in him would not be lost but have life forever that's the famous verse John 3 16 it's the same as you see on TV when you watch football games you notice that some of the people put up hold up signs that say in front of the camera that say John 3 16 that's it that's the verse most of the time they talk about the King James Version but it's the same idea here God loves the world loves all people in the world so much that that's why he sent his only son to die on the cross that he might give life for all to believe, who believe in him and who repent and turn to the light Jesus answered I am the way I am the truth and the life the only way to the Father is through me, meaning Jesus. Think about that. Jesus is your only chance for life forever and for your sins to be forgiven. It's a good question. Where will you be? In the darkness? or in the light let us pray loving father in heaven we thank you that you are the light as you always are we thank you for your son Jesus of Nazareth who gave up his life on the cross that we might be free from sin from darkness that we might have life forever and life in the light we thank you for that and we ask that you please forgive, uh, forgive any darkness that's still left in us for any sin that we have done forgive us and help us to come before you and we thank you through Jesus name amen as always we show our information at the end of our lesson we still love you and pray God's blessing on you 